Hey guys, welcome back to the Hobson Homestead. Today I am cleaning out the quail enclosure we had um, in the house. Um, since we've got them all moved outside into the pens that Marcus built. I don't actually have to have this bucket in the house anymore. So we are washing it out really good and I'm gonna let it dry and put it up for future use either for more quail or I'm actually gonna use it um, for a vegetable haul uh, from the garden. Early morning chores. I'm gonna go out here and give everybody their water. Let everybody, which chicken's already out on that pen. Our breasts are looking, American breasts are looking very spry. He just learned how to crow today. <laughs> he's pretty, I can't believe he's not crowing yet. But he started crowing last night practicing and he's getting better. But our American breasts look beautiful. They're growing perfectly. And boy, can they find some grubs and bugs when you put them on fresh grass. The garden's looking great. Little white stuff is just recycled paper with rabbit manure all in it. That's what you'll see in a lot of this. But we uh, really enjoy this. Hey everybody, it's Maniac or Marcus, whoever you know me by. Uh, I'm fixing out to head out here and I just wanted to show that I finally got some progress made. We had a lot of family and friends to go visit for the holiday, so we were pretty caught up and having to catch up with all the animal pens needing cleaning, uh, cleaning out and all the stuff that had to be done had to be built. I finally finished my new quail cage. This one's a lot larger than the last one. The last one's right there, but it's uh, pretty nice. I'm stoked about it. And we took and put what we considered our best looking quail and we put them right here in these cages. And we got most of our, actually all of the roosters are in this cage now. So just to keep the fuss and hustle and bustle down. But when I get back, we're probably gonna have to uh, do some, some killing and some cooking and, but we got our new breeding pen set up right here. I have, uh, five females for every male. I think we have, I'm pretty sure I got their feet marked with a tag. So I think it's three males and then yeah, 15 females. That's what we got in there. And if that doesn't work out, Hey, I mean, I'll shorten the roosters or I'll add more hens, or whatever. But we had an issue with our incubator that we ordered and uh, that we had to return it. And then they just decided to give us our money back because apparently they were having troubles with that. And hey, so we're having to wait on the incubator. So we're gonna have to, we, stuff costs a lot of money. So we, we're gonna have to build up to that. But we're just very, very stoked about our new pen here. And all of our quail seem a whole lot happier with a whole lot more room. The males aren't so happy because they, they really want to find them a chick to get with. But yes, this is what has happened since the 4th of July weekend. And also our beetle trap is amazing. I mean, this thing is, I bet there's a quarter pound of beetles in here. I hope y'all can see that. I'll check it out on the rewind and see if it made it. It's beautiful. I love seeing all these beetles get just their ha butts handed to them. But that's what's happened over the holidays. And uh, stay safe. Uh, Maniac out. I'm super excited about my tomatoes. We've got some sun sugar, which are the yellow ones. They're like the cherry tomatoes. And then we've got a black 
cherry, cherry tomato. I went ahead and picked them because I was afraid that they were gonna something was gonna get them before they changed color on me. So I'm just gonna let them ripen in the windowsill. So I'm getting ready to make some bread and butter pickles for the first time, and I'm also gonna try to do some bread and butter zucchini if I have enough zucchini. Um, I have, I've had bread and butter zucchini before. It's one of my favorite things. But since I had so many cucumbers, I decided to go ahead and try my hand at cucumbers. And I did have plenty of cucumbers to go for this recipe. And I bought a pack from Walmart of this seasoning mix. And here's the final product. I should have packed it more. Y'all, <laughs> I just went outside to pick veggies so I can start trying to make these uh, cucumber pickles. And I found my very first tomato hornworm and these jokers are huge. It's disgusting. So I'm fixing to put Mikhail in his pack and play so I can go out here and try to get these suckers off and I'm gonna show you what they look like. I was coming out here and I literally did a video yesterday and looked on my tomatoes. I didn't see any kind of pest damage, any at all. These are my bigger tomatoes. But I'm gonna double check all of these suckers. But I come and so I see this damage and it looks like something come and ate the top of my tomato plant. And I was here thinking, oh, a deer came and ate my tomatoes. No, these suckers are huge. Look at that. I'm gonna pull this off and I'm gonna show you what he looks like. I'm gonna feed him to my chickens. These are so gross. I couldn't even touch it with my bare hand. I got a glove and then I couldn't even pull him off the plant. So I just, I mean, he already ate most of that branch anyways. There's two of them. Bite out of the tomatoes and everything. And I'm out here every day picking these tomatoes. Monarch butterfly, I think. I hope you're not the mama. They look like little aliens. They look like little aliens. They're huge and freaky. Which chickens am I gonna throw these to? Let's see what the breasts do. They're the closest ones to me. I'm gonna have to come out here every day now and check these. Every day. And I heard that the best time to actually check for the tomato hornworm is at night with a black light. So I'm gonna have to find a black light and come out here at night. All right, Mr. Rooster, here's your treat. I'm gonna pick up the tomatoes, but what about this little guy? Oh no, I think she's got him in her sight. Go after it. Oh, oh, here comes one of the Malines. Come on. <gasps> they see it. And is it going to be the rooster or is it going to be a Malene? First contestant. The verdict is the breast rooster takes the first pick, and then here comes the hen. Second rooster steps right on it, doesn't even know it's there. Whoops, scared him. All right, guys, there's two worms right here for you. All for the picking. Here's one. Here's the other one.
You can't let him get away. You're stepping right on him. Somebody get in. Come on, Moran. Somebody eat him. brave one. I think they're too big for them. I wonder if they're a little scared. I'd be scared. They just keep stepping all over it. Heck him. Come on. Marcus. Your breasts are a little snobbish. They didn't appreciate oh, the hornworm. The um, breasts are being a little snobbish over that hornworm. They didn't really know what to do with it. These little guys are gonna get it. Go, go, go. He got both of them. Look at them. Look at it go. Who's gonna get the second one? Oh my goodness, look at these ducks devour these. Look at them. I really love how these ducks are foragers and scavengers and they eat anything and everything that she, uh, they can get their beaks on. They don't want to share. Hey guys, uh, just before we get off here, go ahead and uh, hit that like and subscribe button and so that way you can follow us for more videos. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch these ducks. I think they're the most hilarious birds on the farm. There you go. He ate it. All gone.